Royal scandal Kate Middleton flees the palace in tears. The Duchess had enough and need to be out of the spotlight. It was a low-key announcement, but one that formalized what royal family watchers have anticipated for months, and has left Kate Middleton heartbroken. The foundation set up by Prince William and Prince Harry ten years ago to support their charitable work is no longer. Now a royal source tells New Idea that the Duchess of Cambridge is so devastated at what she sees as the final step towards a complete division between her and William and his brother and wife, that she felt forced to flee. It was a low-key announcement, but one that formalized what royal watchers have anticipated for months and has left Kate heartbroken. The foundation set up by William and Harry ten years ago to support their charitable work is no longer. Now a royal source tells New Idea that the Duchess of Cambridge is so devastated at what she sees as the final step towards a complete division between her and William and his brother and wife, that she felt forced to flee. Kate has been left really rattled by her and Will's split from Harry and Meghan, says a palace source. She's incredibly upset by the whole situation and can't believe it's come to this, and things have ended so badly between the four of them. This sort of public split is her worst nightmare come true. She took off to Balmoral to get out of the spotlight for a while and collect her thoughts. She feels like 2019 has just been one drama after another and their public split from Harry and Meghan is the last straw. Last week documents released by the UK's company's house, where businesses and charities register their names, showed that all mentions of Meghan and Harry had been removed from their joint charitable endeavour. Previously known as the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Duke and Duchess of Sussex, the charity will now be called the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. This move comes just 14 months after the name was changed to include Meghan after she wed Harry. The announcement comes amid months of rumors about the Fab Four supposedly feuding. Relations between the royals have seemingly broken down so much that Meghan and Harry chose not to visit the Queen in her Balmoral summer home at the same time as Kate and Will's. But after spending time in Balmoral with the Queen, other members of the royal family as well as her own, Kate appeared more relaxed and far happier than in months. She was spotted laughing alongside William, while there are reports of their children playing with cousins, Savannah and Isla, the daughters of Peter and Autumn Phillips. However, even their departure from Scotland via a budget airline flight raised questions about whether the Cambridges were making a pointed response to the Sussexes who've been criticized recently for using private chartered planes. In the early years of her relationship with William, Kate appeared to forge a close bond with Harry. The then-single Harry spent much of his free time with his brother and wife in their home, where they cooked dinner together and watched Game of Thrones. Naturally Kate would have thought their easy-going relationship would continue when Harry married. Kate's just not used to negative press and she's finding it all really traumatic. She always imagined she'd get along brilliantly with Harry's wife like she did with Chelsea and she can't believe how badly things have soured with Meghan. She just can't believe it's come to this, adds the source. This year Kate's no doubt felt the added pressure after the unsubstantiated allegations of William having an affair. Kate's just really hurt and needed to get away, the insider adds. With all the stress of their falling out with Meghan and Harry, as well as the rumors about Rose Hanbury, she just feels like it's been one scandal after another.